of the here we are again determine the orientation in other words the angle for this 40 pounds force produce several parts maximum moment at a no moment at a so the maximum moment at a well this force can be converted into this component which is 40 cosine of the angle and this component which is the same as here right it's the same same component and this will be 40 sine of the angle and the rest is just applying uh, the equation so we're going to calculate the moment with respect to the point a and we're going to assume counterclockwise as positive that would be what that would be 40 cosine of the angle multiplied by 2 in this direction if I push it here remember this is going to rotate like that so it's going to be negative according to our convention here and this other one is going to be 40 sine of the angle 40 sine of the angle multiplied by 8 and once again if I push it in this direction it's going to be rotating clockwise which is opposite to what we say is here so that will be the function moment at A assuming counterclockwise at positive will be 80 negative 80 cosine of the angle minus 320 sine of the angle now how do you find the angle for the maximum moment take the derivative derivative of the moment with respect to the angle and that will be 80 derivative of cosine is negative sine so it's going to be 80 sine of the angle and derivative of the sine is cosine, so that will be plus, minus 320 cosine of the angle. That has to be zero for producing maximum moment. Solve it again. I'm going to do it by parts because some students are telling me, why don't you do that by parts? So I'm going to pass this to the other side. 80 sine of the angle equals 320 cosine of the angle. And then I'm going to divide the cosine here, and I'm going to pass this divided in the other side. So sine of the angle divided by cosine of the angle is going to be equal to 320 divided by 80 and this is the tangent of the angle so when you solve for that 320 divided by 80 that's giving you 4 uh, that's the tangent of the angle so the inverse tangent of that value is going to give you the angle the angle equals 75.96 degrees period how much is the moment that's the part that is asking here what is the moment at a well in order to find the moment at a I just have to plug this back into this equation and it's going to be 80 cosine of 75.96 negative minus 320 sine of 75.96 and that's equal to negative something negative something so it's going to be 80 cosine of 75.96 plus 320 sine of 75.96 so that would be negative 329 negative 329 uh, 0.85 I'm just thinking of the units pounds per foot that means that this moment at A is negative we assume positive as counterclockwise that means that it's going to be in the clockwise direction now the second the second question is uh, simpler in my mind if you know what to do everything is simpler simpler when you know what to do right for not producing moment at a I can go with any elaborate thing that you can imagine but I know that that force is not going to produce any moment when the line of action of the force passes through the point a so if the force is going to be applied here and this is the point a this is the line of action of the force that has to be force has to be applied in that line of action 
in order for passing through the point and not producing moment. And what is that value? Well, that value will be basically the angle that we have to calculate. Uh, in order to do that, we can calculate, I don't know, the angle is provided from the x-axis, right? So this angle is the same angle that I'm looking for here. And that angle will be inverse tangent of 2 divided by 8 which will give you an angle of uh, inverse tangent of 2 divided by 8 is 0.25, right? That would be 14.04 degrees. That's it. That's the angle. Now, of course, I'm measuring the angle in this way, from this horizontal line to the top. Depending on how do you want to measure the angle, you might have to add 180 or subtract 180 or do something. But this angle, which is the one that we are focusing on for producing the maximum uh, the zero moment, would be that angle over there. Thank you for watching, guys. Once again, see you later, alligator.